Now, conflicts and corruption over the years have hampered business in a mineral-rich area east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. M23 rebels and some government officials have sought to line their pockets at the expense of the businessmen making trade in the country a tough call. CCTV's Jane Keir reports from Goma that taxes on goods and services are also often quite high and they are rarely, if ever, applied in a consistent manner. Born, raised and living in Goma, he turned Chandulal Kanates to life in a conflict almost titless zone. This has meant coping with inefficiency on anything and everything, including what belongs to Caesar, tax. The taxation is not the same for everyone. Everything is negotiable here. You have to pay tax, uh, t county tax over here for the shop for every month. Pollution tax for a small factory. Worker tax you have to pay in the municipal corporation and plus into income tax. For the salary, um, um, uh, from the salary, there are some 35-40% uh, you have to pay taxes for, from that. And, uh, in fact, of paying income tax, you have to pay for again in uh, municipal corporation. Hiten has already shut down his bakery business and his electronics family-run store in central Goma is struggling to stay afloat, full of stock imported almost two years back. An inefficient government system means some government officials can collect tax, pushing the prices to the ceiling with no market. They will not show you that actual tax. They will show you some high figures and you negotiate on that price. How can that work? The situation is further complicated by the fact that armed groups like M23 also impose their own levies in the areas they control. This has meant he tends goods imported from China, Dubai and Malaysia have to pass through Rwanda, which is not only more expensive for the businessmen, but costs the government millions of dollars in lost revenue. The business is not there. It's just like a showpiece. I'm... I have kept the showpiece in a, in a, uh, the show items in a showpiece, that's like that. The same views are shared by George Sangira, whose two-month-old petrol station business is just starting to peak. We would like the government to have a standard rate and give the list of who should collect the taxes because everyone in government is always asking for the same thing. Interestingly, despite the high taxes, the provincial capital is still a far cry from modernization. For example, this is what most roads look like. And experts say it may take a while to resolve the problems. It's a huge problem that may take a while to change because this is a way of life here and the government hasn't shown its commitment to change it. But some like Hiten are on the verge of giving up and looking for greener pastures elsewhere. I can't put out of business. I'm waiting for the situation to turn better or just close the business here and migrate to other part of this Congo. In the meantime, however, he then has to find a way to clear his current stock. Jin Keo, CCTV, Goma, the Democratic Republic of Congo.